Hi, everybody, and welcome back to What's Happening at the Library in January. Happy, Happy New Year! Happy 2023! 2023! We made it! We did! <laughs> rah, rah! Woohoo! So, hope everybody has recovered from the holidays. We have a kind of a lighter month in January. Yeah, I'd say. We but. have, you know, a nice article written by our reference librarian, Paula Keltine, about New Year's resolutions and how the library can help with that. All the resources are free, so if you're on a tight budget because of the holiday season, yes. should, we have lots of resources that can help you with any kind of um, New Year's resolution. Yeah, really, Cooking, really anything. Dieting, health and wellness, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so we have kind of our same lineup for the things that are monthly. So our volunteer reference attorney will be back January 5th. Um, so right out of the gate. So if you need an attorney advice for anything for what happened in December. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was a rough December. It was a rough December. We got you covered. Yeah, better January. <laughs> January 5th at the library. <laughs> um, but they come in and they're a good resource if you have any legal questions without without having to like go find a lawyer and stuff. So yeah. um, they're really helpful. So that's January 5th from 2 to 4. It's a first come, first serve. And on January 28th at 1 p.m., 1 p.m. we're having the liberation of Auschwitz. And so it's finally. Yeah, it's kind of been a lot, a couple years in the making yes. with COVID and things getting shut down. Yeah. Um, we have John Egan coming and he's a, he's a historian. Specialty is on the Holocaust. I am so excited for this program. This mm -hmm. has, I think it's been scheduled at least three times yeah. and we've had to cancel it multiple times. So. Everything cross that this ha goes on, but I think I would highly encourage you to come out. That's going to be a fantastic program. Yeah. Um, some crafting classes that we're going to have this month are learn to crochet and learn to knit. So crochet is Saturday, January 14th at 10. Learn to knit is Saturday, January 21st at 10. So if you're still wanting to learn how to do those two things, yeah. come and... That's such a, it's such a great group, too, that gets together mm -hmm. and they kind of share ideas and... There's different skill levels so people help yeah. each other out. And you get to know people yeah. you know, on a personal level. You get yeah. learn about their families and yeah. you know, kind of their And background. then learn a new skill. So yeah. it's kind of a win-win. Um, we're having game night for adults. We did this in December, um, but we're bringing it back in January. So Wednesday, January 18th at 6.30. So we're going to have card games, cribbage, crazy eight, uno, rummy, skip bow, golf. Not, not this golf, <laughs> but like card game golf. Um, so join us every win every third Wednesday every month. So the, uh, one in January is January 18th. So that's exciting. That I love fun. game nights. They're so much fun. We do that at my house all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another program we have that's um, pretty popular is Medicare 101, Saturday, January 7th at yes. 1 p.m. And so this is specific to Wyoming m Medicare coverage. And so we're going to have three people come and give presentation and answer questions about the up, the ins and outs of everything Medicare. So. Yes, and they are highly knowledgeable people. Yes. All three of them have worked in the industry a long time. Mm -hmm. So come um, with your questions, concerns, and they'll be able to help you out. Yes, for sure. Um, we also have teen volunteer signups in January. So grades seven through 12, if you would like to um, be a volunteer, teen volunteer, they help with programs, with setup, with clubs. Um, it's a great thing to put on a college application. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you're, you or your child is interested in that, um, stop by the teen room for an application in January. Oh, also, <laughs> uh, the book club is, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, is our <laughs> January book club title. Um, January 17th, 6 o'clock in um, the atrium of the library. So um, come and join us for that. That's my book club, so oh. I will be there also to Did chat with it? it. It is. It's very <laughs> humorous. It's, it's a good light read after after the holidays and so definitely pick up a copy at the reference desk um, for that so just a note I don't know if we talked about it last month but we have a new um, library catalog so when you log into our website and look for books our new we have a new catalog so it has a predictive text like our other one did not so it's similar to Google searches so if you spell something wrong or mm -hmm. don't quite remember the title of the book it'll autofill for you it'll say a did you mean so it's really nice yeah um, a feature I really like too is if you're searching for Harry Potter it's gonna bring up the books the books on CD the DVD all in one yep. search results search results and so instead it'll be, of having to keep scrolling mm -hmm. yeah it'll be easier to find what you're looking for and you don't have to do multiple searches yes. to find what you're looking for. Yeah, so that is awesome. So we that launched um, at the beginning of December. So you definitely get in and check that out. It's really cool. We also have a new app. Um, it's a little, or we're, we're troubleshooting a little bit with it. So if you have have some issues with the app, that's okay. We know they exist, but mm -hmm. um, that also is upgraded as well with our new catalog. So um, definitely check that out. And um, yeah, it was kind of it was kind of a, it was kind of a good kind of a good launch. So. 
yeah, so as always, we have the calendar. You can pick that up at any library desk or, or around town, and um, it'll tell you what's going on in January. So we will see you in February.